Alright y'all, we're gonna go. It is day 73, April 29th. It's 3.50 in the morning. It's raining, so I'm gonna get a little later start today again probably. Just wanna give a shout out to Coop. Sitting here looking at your picture, buddy. It's awesome. Yeah, it motivates me, man. It seriously does, so. I look at it before I go to bed and when I wake up, I dig it, man. I sure do appreciate it. This is the best gift ever. All right, buddy. Hope all is well with you and your family. Bye-bye. All right, y'all. Well, the rain looks like it went south of us. It's 548. Man, I'm telling you, I've been sleeping good. So it was, I forced myself to roll over and get up at about 510. Um, with a suggestion from one of the subscribers, I think I will go down to the... Um, sorry. The Silver Hill campsites. Had he stayed there last year. Um, right there. So we'll try to be going to 1477.6 today. And that'll give us about 23 in. Um, sounds good to me. I got a couple of good hill climbs today, I know. One of them being my son's name, Caleb's Mountain or whatever. So I kind of look forward to that one. Um, gear updates. Shorts. These are the ex officios that I've had since I started. Now these are the size 34s. Um, my wife brought me 32s the first time she came to visit and I started gaining weight back so I had her bring back these 34s. So these shorts have been through all the mess. And they are great shorts, man. I would, if I had to start all over again, this is definitely one of the items that I would keep the same. However, Amazon don't have what I want right now, and they don't have the size, and those, when they do have the size or the color, um, now they're trying to charge like a hundred bucks. So, I <clears throat> uh, switched up. I had to order another pair because these are wearing out. I've got, I've sewn up two holes in the seams around the crotch, um, and man, I'll tell you, as many times I had to carry water bottles and stuff when it was so cold, and just stretch these things to the max. <clears throat> To only have to sew them up twice is amazing. Um, so quick bunny trail. My sewing kit has been one of the most used items out of my entire kit. So if you don't know how to sew, uh, you should learn how to sew before you come out here. Uh, believe it or not, I learned to sew in the Marine Corps. So another shout out to the Marine Corps because they're just badass. They teach you everything. Um, yeah, so anyway... I got Columbia Silver Ridge pants coming, 34s. A must have for me is when they, they're convertibles. When they unzip, I want my, and walking, I want my pants leg down about right here so it doesn't look like I got, I got on, uh, uh, you know, short shorts. Um, and they also have to come with a belt. The Exficios come with a belt. This belt has been awesome. Um, and the Columbias do too, so I look forward to that. Um... Just looking around at what else people are wondering about I keep asking about um, the air pad the Nemo wouldn't trade this thing for anything now I wish I would have started with this one however in the colder months the one I had was the one to go with the warmer months this little Nemo is awesome um, I, I gear reviewed it back uh, when I was in Delville so go back and look at that if you're interested in seeing what model it is my cool max liner sleeping bag liner love this it was warm all night last night i just uh, put my body in this didn't even need my quilt last night i just pushed it aside and this was perfect when you're hot and sweaty or muggy or <clears throat> you stink crawling up inside of this and then putting this over you is awesome because all your stink is contained to this quilt stays fresh i throw this in the wash every time i get to town never have to wash this good to go um yeah i think that's about it um, i'm gonna get packed up here get moving somebody asked about my farm defeat socks i've been wearing them all week they're great i switch out between these and my pair of darn tufts in between town so these will get four days and then i'll go wash them i'll do my darn tufts for four days um and leave these my reserves. Right now my darn tusks are my reserve. They're in my clothing bag and I'll wear these uh, for the 100 miles. And I tell you, these have endured some sweat and some mud, so doing pretty good. I got to wash them out yesterday. 
All right, finishing up the last of my coffee. So <clears throat> this is a mixture of one Maxim packet and one Starbucks packet. Um, so the Maxim packet has the sugar and cream already in it. Then I just added another coffee in there to uh, give me a little more caffeine kick. Um, yep, I am ready to uh, start packing up y'all. So I will catch up with y'all on the trail. There's the particulars on my sleeping pad if anybody's interested. It's the Tensor Mummy 20 regular. Everybody's like, man, you're six foot four, dude. Why are you in a 20 regular or whatever? <clears throat> I sleep on my side and I sleep kind of in a modified fetal position a little bit. My knees come up. So, man, this is plenty long enough and it cuts weight. Love it. Love the birds here, man. Woodpeckers, owls all night. It was great. And I cannot believe I'm at a shelter with no people on a Friday night and we're point two from a road. Wow, unreal. All right, about to break down my tent. This is a very nice campsite, man, well done. They've got tent platforms, which don't do me very well with my, with my tent. Again, you can buy the poles for about another hundred and something dollars from Z Packs. Um, just didn't see the need. This is perfect right here. What? Yeah. Even though I know that we have to go back into New York one more brief time, I'm going to pretend like we don't. And I have left it behind. There's some couple of good times in New York though. That wasn't all bad. Alright, what's your name? My name's Eric. Uh, what are you doing uh, here at 7.30 in the morning? Uh, making sure you got uh, some magic and I've uh, been watching your videos for a while now and figured I'd come out and say hi. You're awesome Eric. Thanks buddy. No problem. Alright y'all. That was, that was pretty cool. 7.46. Eric had told me a couple of days ago he was going to put some trail magic out. Lord, here we go. I'm going to fall into them creek. And, uh, man, he's, he was about a day and a half early on when I was going to cross. So he came back and put ice back in his garbage bag that he hung. He's just a good guy. He put out more water and Gatorade and stuff and Cokes for other through hikers. So his wife put a little piece of soap that she sells in a little bag for me uh so cheryl i appreciate that i appreciate you letting eric come out here and meet me today because i know there's probably better things y'all could be doing on a saturday so appreciate both of y'all man that was awesome just crested 10 mile hill which is the first big climb if you will in connecticut and I already like how they laid the trail out. More like Georgia and North Carolina. They had every opportunity to make you climb some rocks to get up to the top, but it doesn't make any sense. New York, you should listen. Virginia, you should listen. No, they took you around to the, um, to the long part of the hill and let you climb up the spine of it. Makes so much more sense. That's good trail management, whoever did it. Well done. It's an awesome walk down by Ten Mile River. Ten Mile River shelter up that way. Moving on. Cool little bridge over 10 Mile River. Sturdy, y'all. Uh, gorgeous here. Holy cow, Connecticut. Loving it. 
and somebody tells me this is back inside New York, I ain't even gonna believe you. It's Connecticut. I don't care. What an amazing freaking Saturday. And then check out there. So there's a house right over there, and then they've got a walkway over that ravine. And I don't know if that's just the second house or if that's somebody's primary house. But I'd love to rent that. That is awesome. Hell, I'd love to buy it. Connecticut is blowing me away already. I know we got some tough climbs today, but man, I don't care as long as the trail's routed appropriately. And so far, it's been incredible. I'll climb all day. Connecticut is gorgeous, y'all. I would, said I would be seeing a lot of snakes. I've seen about three so far today. Yeah, go on now. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go around it. All right, so I was sitting here fixing my feet. I had a couple of blisters. My feet got wet, and I was taking some time. And then um, some dude was coming down the trail, and he kept walking towards me. And I was like, hey, man. He's like, hey, you want a cherry Coke? I was like, who are you? And he's like, Spielberg. And I was like, what? <laughs> and there he is, man. Came Everybody. up here. Is that crazy or what? So Spielberg, what are you doing out here today? What are you down here for? Well, I was I was saying before I uh, I was gonna go hike this weekend up at Bear Mountain, and I saw where you were, and I said, why don't I come do a little trail magic? And so I uh, came up here, which is one of my favorite parts of Connecticut because it's actually pretty easy. If I wouldn't have stopped to fix my feet, I would be probably about two miles farther, man. So I'm so glad it's worked out, buddy. Yeah, it's very to nice you, to meet you, man. I've said it since I left Georgia and walked through North Carolina, especially. This is the most dangerous thing on the AT right here. These leaves, they cover up things like there are rocks under there. So I just tried to walk over that and was just tripping and falling the whole way through. So again, I would argue the safer bet, walk on top of the rocks because at least you know what you got. Yep, so it's 120, about eight miles to go. Took a good 40 minute break there, which is abnormal for me, but and trying to push it today uh yeah i built up some sweat my feet got a little bit wet and that blister from yesterday kind of the skin started pulling off the toe a little bit so that kind of sucks it's all good though get to camp get them dry uh, get some medicine on them good to go all right so needless to say i'm gonna pull back my speed just a little bit Try to get in camp around 4.35 o'clock would be great. Have a good evening, hopefully. Spielberg said there's a whole lot of Boy Scouts up here, though, so we'll see where they're going to camp out at. All right, y'all catch up with you in a little while. Just made it up the top of Caleb's Peak. Wasn't quite as bad as I thought it was going to be. Check out the view. My son ought to be lucky because I already had it in my mind since that's his name. If this hill hurt me, I was gonna hurt him, but it didn't. I still might hurt him though. It's what I do. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. This is a uh, Boy Scout troop. What Boy Scout troop are you? Eleven, Eleven. Eleven from Stanford. Yeah. Hey. Uh, look at there. Hey, we're gonna put them on so they can see. Uh, we want them to be early riser fans, part of our family. So, where y'all going tonight? Who knows? Thank you, buddy. So y'all going to the shelter? Yeah. We may see y'all up there, man. Y'all yeah, yeah. say hey if I'm up there, okay? okay. Later, right. y'all. Have a good one. Right. Hey, it's good that y'all are out here, dude. All kids in America should be doing this right here. It's awesome. Holy cow. I don't know who commented earlier about these, but this is, that's some steep crap right there coming down it. Some dang Boy Scouts coming down too, a bunch of them. I don't know. A couple of them are having problems. At an easier section, so man, I hope they're gonna be all right. I don't know. I'm trying to question people, but I don't know if I took them that way. Wow, that was a pretty tough climb down. All right, trail has been like this for two miles now. It's gonna continue. This is good trail, y'all. The only thing early riser likes better than flat is. Y'all guessed it, lots of flat. 
and whoever said I should make some shirts with all these sayings, I'm th I probably will when I get done. Just know the shelf life of this year's through hike. Who knows how long it'll last. Like next year, there'll be a whole new crop of people. I'll be following them and telling them them they should get their own shirts. So we'll see where it goes, but that would be one of them. Lots of flat. Hey, I was just reminiscing and contemplating uh, all those who made this journey possible as I'm getting ready to go over to 1500 mile mark tomorrow or first thing Monday morning when I walk into Salisbury. Salisbury's like right on the line of 1500. Uh, first off, the people at work, all my compadres who took on more work and created the white space um, on my calendar to let me come do this. So, man, kudos and thank you to them. And then, hell, what got me thinking about this is uh, Spielberg um, showing up today and watching his through hike last year and then him just answering that one question before I took off of his answer of, hey, if you could just tell one thing to somebody getting ready to start a through hike. I know I've talked about it a bunch, but that's like hitting the fast forward button on what you get out of something. That one piece of advice fast forwarded me to where I can now start at at least a smaller level of knowledge that he learned out here. So I don't have to start at the very beginning and learn all over. And that's what it should be about. That's what I want this channel to be about. To help people who come out in the future so they're not starting at ground zero and they can get more out of their experience. So Spielberg, thanks brother. It was great seeing you today. And then obviously my family who has taken on a lot back home to give me the space. Uh, man, I owe y'all a ton. Wife was out cutting the grass yesterday which scares me and elates me all at the same time. It scares me because I am extremely anal about my yard, but elates me because I trust her. And if she yard bites my yard several times to the lawnmower, I know my son will go out there and take pictures and send them to me so he can tell on her. All right, y'all. Just got a visit from PJ Giants fan. I think the P stands for Patrick. I think that was right, right, buddy? Anyway, man, uh, appreciate you, bro. Give me a banana and a cherry Coke. I'm about three miles away from the campground. He's already told me that there's a whole bunch of Boy Scouts at the place I was planning on camping. So, and of course, it's the farthest place. So, if I wait and make the decision late and get there and decide, man, it's just too many, too many dudes, then I'm not going to turn around and come back to the east. So, there's another campground right up here. I'll look at it. He said there's only two people there. Already passed the shelter. That really wasn't an option anyway. And my dumb ass, I told y'all, man, after 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I'm just surviving. But I didn't even get PJ Giants fan on film. Patrick, I'm sorry. I hope he said he's going to possibly just pass back through. He's thought about camping out tonight, but he might just walk back out and if I if I can catch him I'll get him on camera told you man afternoons ain't my thing early risers all about the early all right y'all we're gonna go ahead and end day 73 I'll let y'all listen real quick it comes and goes you'll hear it as I'm talking um, I'm at Silver Hill campsite. I think that's at mile uh, 1477-ish. It's a good day today, rough day. My feet are taking a beating. Um, I will start stopping every four hours again and airing the feet out. What happened, what always happens is on those longer days like yesterday when I did almost like 28 or 29, um, if you get a weak spot like that blister that I got yesterday and then you try to do 23 again the next day in hot conditions your feet are sweating and you don't stop and take care of yourself like I should and I know I should 
Um, yeah, it makes them worse. So I'm good to go, be able to walk tomorrow. Uh, but I will be smarter. I did tell her to push myself this morning. Um, I was moving out at a good clip up and down those hills. Um, so I hadn't been on the hills like that since it's been a while since Virginia at some point. So anyway, felt good. Um, trying to find my range again, if you will, my um, left and right lateral limits on performance. And today helped out. So now I know how to back it off and just try to stay in the sweet spots. What I'm going to try to do from here on out and trying to get my climbing legs back for the because uh, I know it's we're going to start gaining some elevation here soon, Massachusetts and beyond. Um, all right, y'all, already filmed this once. It's um, it's eight o'clock on day 73. I'm just going to finish off. So I was filming the rest of my wrap up for the day and halfway through it the camera started doing the the lips ain't matching the sound stuff so i just uh i just wanted to get out there that it was yes yeah, it was very cool to see spielberg out here and what i wanted to get out to everybody was um to get to spend just a, a little moment out here on this trail while I'm through hiking with that dude who has really been a mentor and um man he's a large reason that I'm doing what I'm doing out here and, and how I'm doing it so Craig it was good to see you buddy it was a surprise and uh yeah man it's shocking and it was fun because it's you all right y'all I am um Plan on doing about 20 tomorrow. That'll leave three or four left into town on Monday morning. And uh, a whole bunch of Boy Scouts here. I'm going to put some earplugs in and go to sleep. Y'all wish me luck. TCCB, I love you guys. And uh, I just wanted to say thanks again to Eric and Cheryl, his wife. And uh, thanks to, again to PJ Giants fan for the trail match today and for Spielberg for that cherry coke as well. And I know in about one mile when I cross the street, there's some more trail magic from uh, Spielberg left some more cokes there, I think. And uh, I'll have to go back and look. Somebody else left some too, man. And I'll give you a shout out tomorrow too because I appreciate you. All right, y'all. Deuces.